All right, guys, so I don't know about you, but for a really, really, really long time, I always felt like I had to have something to eat between dinner and bedtime. Usually it was some kind of dessert, like ice cream or some other sweet fix or just some kind of snack. Um, and really like in the last year or so, I've tried to like get the habit in check a little bit just because it's most of the time it's not something that I really need to have. Um, and now and now and then I will, and I don't feel guilty about it. I think it's really important for us to, um, you know, live a life of balance and not feel like we're depriving ourselves. But I just wanted to share a couple of tips that have been really helpful for me. So my top three tips for how to keep that after dinner snacking in check. Um, and the first one is nothing groundbreaking, um, but it can work and it is just to drink water instead. So if you start to feel yourself like wanting to reach for something or snack on something, just chug a big old glass of water if you want to put ice in it or lemon in it to make it fancy, whatever, but just drink some water and more times than not, that's going to make you feel full and help you to realize that you really weren't necessarily hungry in the first place. Now, if that's a little boring for you or if you're like me and you have a crazy sweet tooth, um, what I like to do sometimes is just heat up a nice hot cup of herbal tea. Um, I like, I found a couple that are almost like sweet tasting and you don't even really have to add anything to them. This is one that we really like. And actually my four-year-old really likes this one as well, but caffeine free, of course, because we don't want to be up all night. Um, and this is another one that I like, the peach. I like the fruity type um, flavors. If you want to sweeten it up even more, you can add a little stevia to it. But having that nice hot cup of tea just to kind of hold there is, is comforting and um, it can take a little while to finish a hot cup of tea, so that can kind of, you know, hold you over until bedtime. So that's tip number one, water or tea. Tip number two is brush your teeth. <laughs> now, I hope everybody brushes their teeth already before bedtime, but what you can do to try to curb that snacking is soon after dinner, brush your teeth, or maybe try to brush your teeth around the time that you would normally want to start snacking or have that dessert. So for me, it's like usually between anywhere from like 8.30 to 9.15 is kind of when I want to start maybe having something else. And that just so happens to be when my four-year-old goes to bed. So we are accountability partners. I will brush my teeth while he's brushing his teeth. And he's actually really good at keeping me in check with like flossing my teeth too, which I'm horrible at. Um, so he, it's a win-win situation. Um, but so he kind of holds me accountable to that. And I have found that that helps me because I'm a little bit lazy sometimes and you know, if I have the choice to eat something, but I've already brushed my teeth for the night, I don't really want to have to brush my teeth again. So that has been effective for me sometimes. And um, so that's tip number two. And then tip number three is honestly, you guys, it's just kind of a mental, a mental talk. So when you go into the kitchen and start to raid the cabinet or reach for something, literally just pause for like five seconds. Just pause and ask yourself, do I really need this right now? And more times than not, if you take the couple of seconds to actually pause and ask yourself that, the answer is usually going to be no, I'm not legitimately hungry. I'm just like doing this out of habit or whatever the case may be. And actually, a lot of times I know that for me, I find that when um, I take those couple of seconds to pause, it helps me to recognize what is really driving me to go reach for it in the first place. And usually it's something like I'm bored or I'm feeling stressed or I'm feeling anxious and kind of identify those emotions that are, you know, making me go reach for whatever snack or treat it may be. And so just taking that couple of seconds to pause and kind of identify, um, you know, do I really need this and what's like making me go to reach for this now? can kind of help you to just take a step back and, you know, go get some water, go do something else, um, but not necessarily feel like you have to have that treat or snack or whatever it may be. So water, hot tea, brush your teeth um, a little earlier than normal and pause to ask yourself, do I really need this right now? All right, guys, I hope that is helpful and I hope you have a great day.